our team. I think the first thing was I thought our guys really showed resiliency. You know, up three with five seconds to go. Um, I think our guys probably could have come to the huddle, you know, disappointed, disenchanted that the game's going into overtime and feeling like they had it. And I thought I thought we showed some resiliency and some some fight. You know, I was pretty annoyed, you know, going into the overtime, but. I think our guys kept a, a pretty good focus, and, and they battled, and they fought, and they, and they found a way to, uh, you know, to, to win the game in overtime. And uh, I, I agree with you; it wasn't clearly one of our better games. I didn't feel like we played very intelligently. I thought Arizona had a lot to do with that. They were certainly well prepared. They did a great job, and you know, the things that I thought would cause us a problem in the game really did cause us some problems. But our guys found a way to you know, to, to hang in there and make some plays and, and finally make a few free throws to win the game. How did they fight through the whole free throws? How do you fight that too? Yeah, you know, I, I thought we drained ourselves. You know, I, I've never I've never ever seen in my life two for 14 at one point from the free throw line. I, mean, I, I could go out right now and make two for 14 left-handed. I mean, two for 14. Everybody in this room can make two for 14. Um, but I thought we drained ourselves where we had some really good possessions in the first half that led to us getting fouls. You know, we had them in foul trouble in the first half. We got to the bonus very early in the first half, and we just completely killed runs and momentum with our free throw shooting. Um, you know, and it's not one guy, I mean, it's our whole team, and we've got to do a better job. But, you know, in the overtime, we did, and, and coming down the stretch, we did do a better job of making free throws. But, you know, 15 for 32 in the game, now that was a huge difference. I, I thought the two biggest things in the game that I looked at on the stat sheet was Walker and Boynton, what they were from the field in our free throw shooting. That, that, those two things were, were somewhat disappointing. So, so what did you say to them that they could fight through that? And those no, I was really impressed. I, I, yeah, no, I, mean, I, I, I thought, you know, as the game wore on, as it got inside of 10 minutes, I, I, I really felt like our team was playing to win. I think one of the things that our guys got to grow and mature on you know, and I, and I told him this after the game, you know, the, the one thing I always enjoyed about it, it, you know, I know we use the 2006, 2007 teams a lot as reference points, but the one thing I always remember with those guys is they would laugh and joke about like, what's it gonna be today? What are they taking away today? Who are they gonna try to take away? Are they gonna try to take away Humphrey today? You know, they're gonna try to take away Noah Horf. Who are they gonna try to take away? Take, try to take away Brewer. What are they gonna try to take away today? And they would laugh about it, and they had an incredible awareness of going into a game of playing with zero intention of other than what's going on. And this was a game where Patrick Young should have taken 40 shots in the game. And, you know, Irving Walker and Kenny Boynton need to do a better job of reading what is going on inside the game. And their shooting percentage from the field, um, although their intentions of wanting to win the game, feeling they got to need to do something, we should have just played out of Patrick Young the whole entire night. He had 25 points. He should have had 45 points. We should have got the ball to him much, much more than we did. And there's got to be a better understanding. And then what happens is, like I told those guys, when teams watch film of you playing, they say, well, you know, Arizona just tried to take away the three-point line and play one-on-one with Patrick Young, and the guy scored 35 points. We can't do that. That was a thing, the beauty of that team in 2006, 2007. Like, it was like, pick your poison. What are you going to try to do? Who are you going to try to take out of the game? Because you, 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 you can't guard it all. But we've got to have an understanding of what's going on and then try to take advantage of, of what's open. And I thought we did a really poor job of that tonight.